Hi everyone, Marin here for Lawn Fawn. The mouse family is back, it's been a while, and today we join them in the tomato field where they are busy taking care of the new patch and picking the ripe tomatoes. So let's take a look at the supplies we need to make this card. We have Veggie Happy for most of the images and the add-on for the little worm. Very special for the sign and pick your own message. Absolutely awesome for this cute mouse. The Kangarific add-on for the grass. The Carrot About You banner add-on for the tiny heart. To build my tomato house, I'm going to use the pumpkin house die set. The leaves and the stem from the outside in stitched strawberry die set. The chimney die from the mushroom house die set. And I'm gonna add a little farm fence to the back of my scene, which I am going to create first. I cut an 8.5 by 3.5 inches Stratmore Bristol Smooth Panel, taped it to my grip mat. I did two pencil marks on the side to divide my panel into three sections. I am going to start with the bottom part, so I am using washi tape to mark this space out. And to make a soil slash muddy ground, I am going to blend some antique linen oxide ink with some vintage photo oxide ink. The soil section needs some texture, so I am mixing some vintage photo oxide ink with water and I am using my trusty small brush to add splatters on the paper. Now we can move on to the heels in the back of our scene. I placed another piece of washi tape to protect the bottom section. I taped my slimline heel side stencil and to make those green heels I am using shabby shutters and modlon oxide inks. And just like before, I am going to add splatters of Rustic Wilderness Oxide Ink. So let's move on to the last part of our landscape. I am using my slimline cloudy stencil with tumble glass and broken china oxide inks to make the sky. I am applying tumble glass first. Next I am adding some broken china and I am mixing the colors using my tumble glass blending tool. When the clouds are done I will use broken china oxide ink to add more texture. And then I will add white ink splatters all over my piece of paper.
So now, since my grip mat is stuck on my glass surface, I am going to do some more inking on the tomato house pieces. I used chili paper cardstock for the tomato, algae cardstock for the leaves and the stem, light brown wood grain cardstock for the door frame and the windows, tight pool cardstock for the door, fog cardstock for the chimney, and the little farm fence was cut out of some white wood grain cardstock. Sometimes I like to keep my die cut pieces plain with no inks at all, but sometimes I like the effect. And I was filling it for this card, so I am using oxide inks to add more details or more depth to those pieces. So now it's time to color some cute images. As always, I stamp them all using jet black ink. I used the matching dies to cut them all. And now I am going to color everything using my graphite brush markers and my spectrum noir markers.
Before attaching everything on my slimline panel, I am going to assemble some of the tomato pieces. On this brown door, I want to keep the frame only, so I am cutting it off. And I am going to stick it on the blue door, and then I will glue the door and the two windows on this piece of sticky note cardstock I have here to create light inside the tomato house. So I cut the excess of sticky note cardstock around the door and the windows. And now it's finally time to stick all the bits and pieces on the panel and see our little scene come to life. I am starting with the tomato house on the right side. Next I will add the fence and then the images. And I am using 1mm and 2mm from squares mostly to attach everything. So our three little worms have joined the fun, the scene is all done. So off screen I added highlights and details to the images and to the tomato house. 
using a YGL pen. And the last final thing to do is to stamp the greeting. I am using Black Versafine ink to stamp it. And that's it. Our card is done and it's super cute. I hope that you like it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have a lovely day. I will see you on the next one. Bye.